my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 58. I was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 42. Now, my I have a younger sister, and she just turned 40. At what point do you think she should go for genetic testing? Well, it's a good question, and I'm not confident, and I would really defer to Kim more on this, but I'm not sure that she actually meets the criteria for officially going for testing. Counseling, I think it's important actually at this point to distinguish between going for genetic counseling and getting genetic testing. Mm. As I think Kim can explain to us a little bit more, there's a difference, and I strongly recommend that women get genetic counseling before they make the decision to get testing because there are really significant implications about the results of the testing, and women need to understand those things before they make the decision to get tested. You know, Elizabeth, you're absolutely right about that. Maybe we could just divert away or segue away to Kim for a second. That's a really excellent point. We'll get back to your slides in a minute. But uh, Kim Banks, share with us the difference between counseling and testing mm -hmm. and also the methods that you use, Kim, let's say in Lisa's case, of, of calculating lifetime risk for, for patients. Kim, you want to uh, elaborate on that? Yes, definitely. I was itching in my chair to jump in. Thank you, Elizabeth and Dr. Harness for bringing it up. Lisa, those are such great questions and they're things that every family kind of muddles through. Where do I start? What do I do? And the, the genetic testing itself is the blood draw and the set of genes being analyzed to check your genetic code to see if those genes are working properly, if the code is correct or not. But the genetic counseling is really the step before that where you, you go through what the patient's personal history is, family history is, to look at what genetic testing may or may not be indicated to then figure out, okay, is a set of genes appropriate to test? If it is, what laboratory? Can we get insurance coverage? And what's the likelihood of finding something versus not? And really talking through then what that genetic testing means for the patient and the family so that the patient is really understands what it is that they're getting into with the genetic testing and how to use the information. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.